मान करो तद परे मेरे प्रीतम प्यारे मान करो तुद lacerated my mind my heart there no other remedy other than your own self remedy of this heart only lies in your hands no other doctor can heal it up you are going away but don't forget us for god say we don't forget us we cannot forget you but you also don't forget we are after all your own you know if you forget us who will what will be our own remedy you say so the heart is aching for just a glimpse of the master you see know? what is what is remedy you can there be for that nothing else no words no i mean consolation will help you know? once it so happen in the time of lord krishna that there were many gopis you see they were very much in love of the lord krishna so he remained away for some time say about 6 8 months or so so they could not reach him <coughs> and they were crying like you see separation is a very bad thing really. two times are very difficult for a man who has love in his heart to have love in his heart for somebody one the time which is just passed in a waiting and the other time when he leaves he bought a very hard time so lord he shall send one udo messenger go and console them you see control them well, look here god is everywhere master is everywhere he is in your heart of hearts he is the very controlling power in your own self in the body why you worry he is the soul of your souls this and that thing many things so he went he prayed to all those to the best he could you see with all that they heard very calmly and last of all told him oh who the who what you say is all right but tell us the eyes which are yearning to see the that great in form of the master what is the remedy with you for that <laughs> So this is a prayer from the disciple to the master, but don't forget us. And generally you will find, usually, as a matter of fact, the master never forgets himself. He says, well, I had only one heart, that you have taken possession of that now. What to do? We can think of no other than you yourself. Your heart can be ten, twenty. Then you can devote one, say, and then there, then there. It's only one heart. When it is the throne of God, don't let anybody sit on that except God. Mm-hmm. What we do, we just let every worldly things sit on the other and dethrone God. Master, you see, Guru Arjun says the master loves and remembers his disciples with every breath, and he does not forget. But the yearning of the heart is that the disciple does pray like that. Don't forget us. 
Even if you go over here, we have your stuff to offer. Eh? But I tell you, it is Mother first who loves us, the child. Child's love is only reciprocal. The love that the master has for the children, for the disciples, he carries the children. He looks on the level of God in him. He loves the disciples and hundreds of others won't love it but still. But he loves the soul, the development of the soul. With no consideration, no recompense, nothing of it. Mother may be loving the children, you see. With the hope when they will grow up, they will help us, this and that thing, in their old days, they will become our stake. But Master doesn't do it. He simply sees that, hey, they are all, the souls are my, the God in him thinks that he is my children. The more we have that yearning like that, you see, the more our mind is cleansed of all grass of the world, is wiped away with the tears which roll down from the eyes, that water. With that water only, these draws of the fields of many birds pass can be washed away. Mother Room says that one place, if you want to go, go to the place of pilgrimage, the Makkah. So there are two ways from India, you see. One is through the sea, the other on the land. But the way on the land is very sandy, you see. There's dust of water. There are no communications to the deserts of Arabia. So it's very hard to reach the place of pilgrimage if you go on foot. Or even on horses, you see. Because in the sense no car can go here. <laughs> and there's a way through the sea. And that takes you quicker there in three days. So he says, well, look here, if you want to have a pilgrimage of God, well, come through the waters of tears. <laughs> You'll go quicker rather than you go through land or sands. What is that meant by that? Any prayers, any rites or ritual performed or reading or scriptures with dry hearts, like gymnastic, mechanical, that won't help you to read the heart. Just you read scriptures, your heart should be full, and that or it should overflow twice. <laughs> when rain comes, there are clouds come before. <laughs> when there are blossoms in the trees, fruit going trees, they are home for fruit. Similarly, the heart which is full of anguish, you see, yearning, overflowing the tears, you see, from the eyes. Such a one, you see, heart can be quicker. And you see, sometimes we never remember God. You see. Days and days pass away. We never think of that. By keeping that, it is one thing very important. As we have not seen all aspects of it, that during the day you are remembering the God in that. <laughs> you see? Otherwise, you won't remember it. At least at night you remember what I have been doing when I have to send the diary. Isn't it not a, and a great blessing? We never realize the truth of the things which are given. And all the time you say, oh my Lord, I have to, not to do this, not to Always thinking of the Master, of the God in Him. So such a heart, you see, becomes the fittest to receive Him, the quicker way. So that was a prayer like that, the very full of pathos and yearning, you see. Oh, Master, you are going, but don't forget us. We cannot remember you unless you remember us.
Dasavaru, Navadasi Prokula, as I told you. So when you sit together, two men sit together, two disciples of the Master, naturally the remembrance of the Master comes. When you sit together, you think of the Master. One says of his own say when well, this is like that, the other is like that. That way, the remembrance is re- revi- revived. Isn't it? That is why Christ said, when more than one man sits in my name, I am there. Isn't it? And moreover, you do it for the shakti. So God, you see, when Master initiates anybody, He resides with Him for very time. And never leaves him unless he takes to the lap, takes him to the lap of the Father. And that is what we call God power or Guru power or Christ power. So such like attitude makes us fit. The such like time spent when comes just sweet, sitting sweet. You will have response from it. So these are some of the poems written by me when I was away from my master. Yes. This state of mind, you see, cannot express in words. It has not been given to words to express the feelings of your heart, you see, yearning of your heart. So such like attitude radiates in the atmosphere. They go to cleanse all foreign, external thoughts for the time being. And it's just like, you see, ego, when it comes in, no spell is there. So when the ego of love comes anywhere, you see, no thoughts come, arise there. So all masters say, well, look here, the heart is the, they're giving you a sacred trust. Don't <coughs> misappropriate it. <laughs> it is meant for God and that only God is sit on that only nobody thing. So such like prayer, see, These things are only come out, you see, afresh from every heart, gush out of the heart. Only such like prayers help. Sometimes we work with some models, I mean some specimens of prayers and given by masters. That is only such like words as they give, give out should come of the very heart, gotcha from very heart. Only mechanical repeating something like that can be with your If you love him, you see. You abide in his heart, let my words abide in you, and you abide in me. How can you abide in it when you remember? The more you are, the more he reacts, you see. And that, what does it cost? Anything? And time flies away like anything. For a time he was. Separation from the master at least, sometimes for eight months, once, you see. And these things came out of my heart. Heart is only one or two or three, how many you have got? One. You want a heart, you see. When you give your heart, what remains? Where the heart goes, everything goes, you see. Body and soul both. This is what is meant by surrender and devotion. Simply in an in intellectual way, or philosophic way of thinking this and all that. Alpha says, if the learned men come to know a little iota of what madness we've got, yearning for the Lord, they will leave, forget everything and they will dance like that. <laughs> Such a heart is the abode of the Lord, you see. 
even when we say prayers, we are thinking of the worldly children, such and such, such and such. Tulsi Das says, just clean your, your mind, <laughs> so that the God may, your beloved may manifest there. Then he defines what is called frenzy, what is cleaning of the heart. He says, a heart in which no thought other than the God comes. <laughs> That's the pure heart. With no other thought, you see, comes up, you see, except God. Love of God, yearning of God, but the heart is the thing that the God manifests. I'm not a bad